Liz Coyles. I won It's Your Shot in 2012. I'm Brian. I'm Brett. We're from Van Thoppen Film from Hamilton, Ontario. And we're the winners of the 2012 edition of It's Your Shot. There. Fucking <laughs> fun. fun. Take 17. I think it was 2011. Yeah. This is it was 2011. Yeah. That's okay. My name is Jill Godin. I am from St. John, New Brunswick. And I won It's Your Shot in 2013. I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jessica Mitchell. I entered the It's Your Shot contest in 2012. My best friend called me. She was driving. Uh, she would commute to work every day. And she said, there's this contest. You have to enter. I was like, oh, well. She's like, you have nothing to lose. So go for it. We actually didn't hear about It's Your Shot until after we won it, funny enough. Or I guess it was when we found out that we were in the top six. Yeah. Um, but our dad entered us into the contest uh, while we were on tour, actually. It was kind of a surprise to us, so we didn't really have any you know, preconceived notion of, of what slave music was all about or the contest. I heard about it on the radio when I was in Toronto last year on a business trip, and then I decided to enter it just on a whim, and then I won. <laughs> I'm, it's kind of weird. I feel like my friend Tim uh, sent me a link. He was just like, you should enter a song in this. And I had no idea what it was. I had no idea who you guys were. And uh, I, and so I sent a song in. It was overwhelming, I think, when I first saw it. And once you actually saw the breakdown and even the, the lump sum of money involved, it was like, okay, this is, this is something big. We found out based on what we were getting from the contest, uh, it seemed like a really good package. We kind of got everything covered that we needed to do. I was actually really, really impressed because in all the competitions that I've ever done at home, it was just for prize money and it, they would just give you $10,000. I saw like what the prizes were and what, you know, who you guys were working with and and uh, who the previous winner was. I asked around as to who you guys were and turned out you were kind of a big deal, so. I saw the breakdown and that you really don't have a choice but to put it towards music, which is exactly what I wanted. I was actually really excited. I kind of went in to this experience expecting to have zero creative control and to not really have a say. I, I didn't know what to expect, but that's just kind of what I had assumed. Initially though, I think we went in with the mentality that it was going to kind of be, you know, we get the services and, you know, that's kind of it. We go our separate ways, but we were really impressed with how hands-on the, the team at Slate are and, and even continue to be to this day. It was surprising and, and refreshing to, uh, be able to be on board with everything, photo shoots and um, the video shoot and all that, all that I got to be fully hands on. I have a really hard time trusting people musically just because I've had some hard times and hard relationships. The fact that I've been here for five months and I haven't experienced anything like that is super comforting to me. Eric had kind of made it very clear to me that they that you guys wanted to potentially continue to invest uh, regardless of whether I won or lost. I worked my tail off. It wasn't like I was just kind of sitting back and waiting for things to sort mm -hmm. of come to play. You're always very honest. You know, when you when you love something, you love it, and when you don't, you're, you tell me. That's what I kind of love about you guys is that you don't, I don't think you consider yourself a label either. It's almost like this bird's nest where I'm free to kind of go and do what I want. You give the space to kind of allow great music to be heard and written. Communication, support, you guys are like the boyfriend I've ever had. <laughs> The way you guys made me feel like I actually deserve the title of a songwriter is something that I've been looking for for a really long time. Like playing with Sony Center, David Foster, Luminato, people that I've gotten to meet and the people that I've gotten to work with. You found me an epic manager who's amazing. The writing trip that I did um, that you guys helped me organize to go over to the UK got set up with these brilliant songwriters. I think the whole experience has been I guess pretty phenomenal. The, the hands-on guidance that we've received from Slate has been just an invaluable learning uh, learning tool for us. We feel like over the last two years of working with um, everyone at Slate, we've actually really, I think, figured out figured out who we are and, and what the best way of, of getting our music across to to our audience is. Again, we're super appreciative of that. I learned so much that trip about songwriting about singing about who i wanted to be and what my message what i wanted to say i wouldn't be where i am right now if it wasn't for the team of people that have been around me for the last two years and i'm super
super grateful for that. I had lost so many contests and singing shows and talent shows in my entire life, and I never thought that I would win one. And if you're going to enter a contest, this would have to be it. You have to really love what it is that you're putting out into the world. And if you don't, then there's no point. If you're gonna enter, make sure you have something really unique and something that really identifies yourself and sets you apart from all the other potential artists who could be entering the contest. Um, just be yourself and uh, I think good things will come out of that. What do you have to lose by entering this contest? Absolutely nothing. What do you have to gain? A, a ton. 